Hi, I'm Blythe Nilsson, Associate Professor in the Biology Department at the University of British Columbia, Okanagan Campus. I specialize in teaching undergraduate students about human anatomy and physiology. I've been using Visible Body's Human Anatomy Atlas for years in my class, and they asked me to share the top five topics students learn so much better when they manipulate models in 3D. So let's get started and take a look at the skull and cranial nerves. Here's the impact of the 3D models. The branches of the cranial nerves are beautifully simple when you can look at them from all directions. By hiding and then showing the mandible, it becomes clear how the jaw is innervated. You can also select the skeletal icon and hide the whole system. I really like to show my students the sphenoid in the Atlas app because it's so difficult to show it in an intact skull or in a flat picture. Here you can see how the sphenoid articulates with the rest of the bones. You can also isolate the bone and explore the foramina. This icon allows you to explore the major bony landmarks. Microanatomy can be quite difficult, but the structures of the eye are understandable when I lecture using this model. First, you can hide some of the muscles, then the vitreous humor and other structures. Now students can really see how the optic nerve connects through the back of the eye. Another great aha moment involves the spinal cord. This view in particular allows you to visualize how the nerves exit the cord and their relationship to the vertebrae. I find it so valuable to show students in 3D what is difficult to see in textbooks, lab specimens and models because you always have to leave something out in order to show a particular structure. By selecting this vertebra and hiding it, then selecting and hiding the spinal ligaments all at once, and then the dura, you can also see how the spinal roots originate further up the spinal cord than where the spinal nerve exits the vertebral column. It's a great way to show students the relationship of spinal nerves with the bones of the spine. Let's move on to the digestive system to take a look at the accessory organs. Instead of using a series of flat images on PowerPoint slides, you can show the ducts that run through accessory organs and into the small intestine. By selecting the common bile duct and the head of the pancreas, you can easily show the relationship between the pancreas and the ducts. Just select the whole pancreas and fade it to show the relationship between the ducts. Here's our last example that really shows the relationship between the circulatory and respiratory systems. Here is the model of the heart. To add pulmonary circulation, just open up the anatomy search, type in the term, and select Add. Now add the whole respiratory system in just one tap. You can clearly see the three lobes of the right lung and the two lobes of the left lung and the cardiac impression that makes room for the heart. You can also add the diaphragm. and the thoracic cage. So now students are seeing a complete picture. Now I take my iPad or laptop to lecture to show these models on the big screen. Later in the lab, students can use their own laptop, tablet, or phone to review there and then later again at home. I find that being able to manipulate the images gives students a hands-on connection that makes learning more personal. And that brings us to the end of our show and tell today. Thanks for joining me.